Mr Speaker, thank you for granting me this urgent question to ask the Secretary of State for the Home Department if she will make a statement on how her department can speed up the urgent re refugee applications coming from those leaving Ukraine. Minister. Right. Mr Speaker, President Putin's invasion of Ukraine is a barbaric and unprovoked attack, and we stand shoulder to shoulder with the Ukrainian people. He must fail in Ukraine. This government has brought forward a generous humanitarian offer to those Ukrainians who want to come to the UK to escape this conflict. Last week, the Home Secretary announced a new Ukraine family scheme for those with family ties to the UK, and we are extending this scheme further to include aunts, uncles, nephews, nieces, cousins and in-laws. The scheme went live last Friday and has already seen over 10,000 applications submitted, of which over 500 visas have been issued, with more being issued as we speak. We have also announced we are setting up a new humanitarian sponsorship visa and we are working at pace with our colleagues in the Department of Leveling Up Housing and Communities to set this up alongside who will also be working with the devolved administrations. We have made significant progress in a short space of time on top of the first phase of the package my right honourable friend the Home Secretary set out to this House last week. I would also remind the House a crucial part of the application process is providing biometrics so we can be sure applications are who they say they are. Sadly, we are already seeing people presenting at Calais with false documents claiming to be Ukrainian. With incidents like Salisbury still in our minds, the governments will not take chances with the security of this country and our people. Our friends in the United States, Canada and Australia are rightly taking the same approach as we are. I would like to update the House, though, on the measures we are taking to speed up and process the applications and ensure we can help applicants as quickly as possible. We have surged staff to key visa application centres across Europe, particularly in Poland, and moved more biometric kit to support them. We have ensured casework teams are standing by in the UK to process applications to ensure no delays. We will also be establishing a larger presence in northern France to help Ukrainians in the region. It is essential we do not create a choke point at places like Calais, where there are dangerous people smugglers present, but also to ensure the smooth flow of people through the system from across Europe. Alongside this, we are working with our embassies around the world to ensure we use our diplomatic channels to support our efforts and to provide the latest information. Uh, Mr Speaker, we have taken decisive action and we are now providing regular public updates on our case working numbers and will continue to keep the House updated on this progress. Geoffrey Clifton Brown. Uh, may I thank my hon. Friend for that comprehensive answer? Mr Speaker, it is very impressive that the Prime Minister and this Government have taken such a world-leading role in uniting the West, in uniting the West imposing one of the Just toughest wait. sanction regimes and providing military support for Ukraine. However, the UK has always been generous in admitting refugees, especially in times of crisis in Europe, dating back to the Huguenots. Concerned constituents have contacted me. So could my, right, my hon. Friend please tell the House how we can speed up the necessary processing of refugees, leaving this truly awful situation in Ukraine. Could he also update the House on what is happening in Calais, so that they can be processed either there or close by by providing transport? I understand that we require a process to securely check applications that are made, not only for security reasons, but also so that we can provide, provide the support in this country. But, however, we surely could speed the process up by, for example, rewashing biometric and other data that we already yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. We need efficiency, but also humanity, when, it, when processing applications of refugees from Ukraine. And we should warmly welcome those refugees to this country. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank my honourable friend for the way he put his questions. And he is right. You know, we have... Stood, for, stood forward as a country to support Ukraine, not least in supplying it with the very weaponry that is being used to defend people's homes and to push back this barbaric and unprovoked attack on their nation. I appreciate the concerns that there are. I can say today you know, we are training new caseworkers who, as of tomorrow, will be taking more decisions. We are looking to review what we can to use some of the technology we have 
around, for example, what we deployed for the British Nationals overseas route and how that could be brought in to effect as well. Also reviewing some of the requirements biometrics around under 18s as well to again free up points in visa appointments in visa application centres. And also in terms of specific points around northern France, we are looking to establish a presence in Lille and also potentially to look at transport as well options from Calais to Lille. There are issues with providing particular application points at the port, but we are looking at how we can do it, and we expect that to be set up within the next 24 hours. We come to the Shadow Home Secretary of